Hello and welcome from Seattle. This is Thomas Cole with the Laplin Corporate Webinar Series. Today I would like to briefly talk about PC refresh and deployment with PC Mover in home offices and remote locations. We'll be about 10 to 15 minutes uh, for this webinar. Certainly uh, today um, in our crisis with the coronavirus, we have a new challenge and that is in-home productivity. Uh, certainly now, but I think also after all this crisis, the need for home offices will be top of mind for many employees and potentially large organizations uh, that have to deal with equipping the employees with the right hardware and the right software. Uh, productivity must be maintained at the office when you're allowed to work at the office or at home if you may be at home or have to be at home. So in both sides, you have to be as productive as possible. And certainly we see that new PC purchases still show 30% desktops, which means you may not take the desktop home with you and dismantle your desktop at work. Um, people with laptop might do that, um, but they might not have the whole setup uh, at home as they have in the office. Also, I think we are used in the home um, to work with our phones and tablets uh, versus a full productivity laptop and desktop. Um, certainly, when we come home from work and we still get email, it's easily handled with a phone. But once we have to get full productivity during the day, uh, that is hard to do um, by tablet or phone. And so I think this new home office paradigm will certainly accelerate the upgrade cycles for work devices at home. We might not have what we need at home, we have to get it, and it's a big challenge. Uh, the other thing that we also noticed um, from a lot of customer discussions was that the newest generation laptops, like the two in one 360 laptop surfaces, have shorter lifespans. Uh, I was talking with a large government institution, and they were saying that they are now using one of the very light, thin um, notebooks. And they were hoping that they can continue with their four or five year lifespan for a PC, but with the new devices, because they're mobile, they get dropped, they fall down, um, uh, they believe that it's now uh, two to two and a half years. So what we see from, the, from this challenge is really reduced productivity with insufficient hardware at home, increased help desk calls and troubleshooting, because if I don't know what I have, what I need, and I need it, I will call help desk. Every call will be a burden on the help desk um, that might also not be in the office. Prolonged project cycles and reduced collaboration. There's the whole debate whether we can do everything by conference calling what we do usually in in-person meetings. It is not quite the same way. And um, we have to learn a little bit how we deal with each other. <laughs> Certainly something like, Jokes uh, sometimes on conference calls do not work uh, because you can't see the faces, you can't see the reactions, you can't follow up. And so the other thing uh, we certainly see is friction among coworkers due to delays and lack of visibility. Usually I can go into the office and say, can you do this for me right now? If I send an email, I don't get an answer. I try to call them, but they're in a meeting, they're in an online meeting, et cetera. So fr friction will certainly uh, be one of the problems. So when it comes to in-home PC replacements, certainly employees are not the IT experts. And even experts in that sense need help because today many of the migrations, uh, and that is the transfer of application data and settings, uh, is done manually. It's not necessarily automated. And so even the experts need help. Complex migrations as we see today uh, are just more than copying files to OneDrive. Uh, we always have uh, the conversation with Microsoft. Uh, for them, a migration is copy your files to OneDrive and bring them back. Well, that is really not a migration. You might have to move uh, applications that the user needs for their work. Uh, all the settings uh, that were done over the past months and years uh, have to be reestablished. And if we don't want to waste a lot of employee time and end user time or even expert help time, uh, then we need better solutions. However, IT labor resources are scarce and expensive. 
we already don't have enough. So having the situation that we suddenly have to increase the ability of employees to work at work or at home and they need to have the same kind of experience is a gigantic challenge if there's not enough resources. Remote deployments and in-home migrations are also exponentially more expensive. Uh, we have seen that with so many customers, um, we're flying people there, uh, going, doing basically a, a house call uh, is sometimes just not feasible and it's much too expensive. If we take an organization, even if you have a thousand people going to the home offices, the IT department can't just go in every home and do any kind of migration. That has to be done differently. And if we want to have the productivity, we have to automate that in very special ways. So as I said, in-home visits by corporate IT is just unrealistic. So we have to rethink deployments and migrations. And that means we have to enable employees with simple steps for self-migration. We have to fully automate it, even to the point of zero touch, uh, which means the uh, employee, uh, the home user just kicks it off and everything is automated. It's controlled, it's in controlled environment by the IT department. So we have to include the whole home work PC environment into a total upgrade cycle. We can't just think anymore about what do I do at work? I also have to do it at home. And we have to do it in a way that it reduces help desk calls. Uh, every call is 50 to $80 and it's a burden to the IT department who already are being always asked to cut budgets. So it is a big squeeze and you know we think we can help with that. Lapling has been over 37 years in business. And for many years, uh, we have dealt with file transfer, with migration, with remote control, all these utilities that make life on a Windows PC easier. We actually started already with DOS PCs, but then the migration was very, very easy. Today, it is very complex. We have automated this, and with our PC Mover Enterprise, we have a unique application that automates the, the transfer of application data and settings uh, from an old PC to a new PC, or even to upgrade an existing PC. We do have a proven track record with a lot of Fortune 1000 companies, a lot of government, local government, universities, school districts. So we understand many different scenarios and situations. And so we think that we can certainly give you the right tools uh, to make this process much better. It is a very flexible solution where you can support many scenarios because today uh, somebody in sales will not use the same stuff as a person in marketing or in production or in finance. Um, we are getting more and more into this concept of not only bring your own device, but also bring your own solution. So there is a base set of corporate or government applications, but we will supplement with things that we download from the internet that we need that we think we need, and uh, that is allowed by the IT department because the point is make the user as productive for the business as possible. At the end, we think we can save you $300 to $2,000 per desktop, $300 for a simple solution, $2,000 perhaps in a remote office where it's uh, very difficult. Uh, we had uh, one insurance company um, coming back to us and said, well, um, we used to uh, send to our remote location a uh, loaner PC, got the user's PC back, then sent a new PC there, then got the loaner back, doing it all with an automated solution, and the user could do it themselves. Uh, we saved $1,500 in logistics alone, not to talk about the IT time or user time that was needed. So for all the projects, whether small or big, we can finish migrations much faster and we can certainly improve and use the morale. So let's look at a couple of scenarios that we can support. The simple scenario is really the direct uh, connect and transfer. In this scenario, uh, the Windows 10 machine will be uh, installed uh, by the factory perhaps with the corporate or government image. It will be locked into the local domain or it could also be now an Azure Active Directory domain in the cloud. And then in the step three is really where the user or the IT department 
will move all the application data and settings from the old PC, and I uh, show it here as a Windows 7, 8.1, but of course it could also be a Windows 10 machine already, and move it to the new Windows 10 machine. After the move is done, whether over network, um, USB cable, an Ethernet cable, um, or even wireless, although that is not really recommended because wireless, uh, in-home wireless often is terribly slow, but you can then finish the process directly and then the old PC can be deleted, given back uh, to the IT department for a secondary use, whether it's donations um, or recycling. A second scenario is if we want to refresh a PC. So in this case, we take an old PC, um, we offload the application data and settings to a hard drive or server share. We then will uh, install an image on the old machine, new Windows 10 corporate image. And then we will bring the application data and settings uh, back to the machine from the hard drive or the server share in this process three. Now, this is certainly something that usually does not happen in home, um, but this might uh, lend itself to a situation where the home user can hand off the old PC to the IT department and picks it up the next day. Same process, very effective. Um, I think that um, home users might be a little bit um, overloaded by you know, putting the corporate image onto the existing PC. So that's why I'm hesitating to recommend this to be done at home. In this scenario, I, I'm looking at a zero touch migration with uh, Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager or other uh, tools like Alteris um, and uh, Avanti or others uh, that are in the marketplace. In this case, the IT department first uh, creates um, the policies uh, that are needed uh, for this migration. Uh, they will copy the software uh, onto a server share. Um, and then in you know the, uh, the part where it comes to the home office, they can just get a new uh, Windows 10 machine. Um, and then they can download the application data and settings from the server share and bring it all onto the uh, Windows 10 machine. And then afterwards, the old PC can be wiped, again, can be given to uh, secondary users. Lastly, we can even automate it further. Um, in this case, the machine might come already installed from the manufacturer. Um, it gets uh, locked into uh, the Active Directory or Azure Active Directory. And then the IT department will use Autopilot, Intune, and PC Mover um, to configure already the Windows 10, the new machine, perfectly. The machine will then be sent uh, to the home, and the user will basically perform an automated um, migration uh, between the old PC and the new PC over cable over the network, and again, then the old PC in step five can be reassigned. So as easy as and complex you want to do it, there are different scenarios with, that we can provide with PC Mover Enterprise to help you make this transition from office to home office much easier, less costly, and with a lot less headaches uh, in these kind of scenarios. Here, the user can actually be part of the migration process. It doesn't have to be done by a tech. Um, it doesn't have to be done just in the factory or in the office. It can be shared between uh, certainly office and um, the home office. So that was just a couple uh, ideas of how we can make a migration at home work and um, overcome these challenges with um, preparing the home office for very productive work. Uh, we would love to talk to you, uh, send us uh, your ideas, your projects um, to corpsales at lapland.com. We're happy to talk with you, uh, give you live demos of the 
um, product, give you evaluation copies so that you can actually test it, uh, as well as prepare um, some of the technical details during testing. We will help you there so that you can come up with a process that really fits your scenario, not anybody else's. So with that, thank you very much for looking at this video. We hope we will talk soon. Thank you very much and stay safe.